Yeah, I think credit to Ruben. I think he's growing that position. Everyone knows it's actually a forelock. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's putting a lot of work into analyzing and getting the right options and yeah, he's playing dividends as well. So, yeah, credit to him. Um, and yeah, uh, I think uh, more didn't go what we want, what we used to. So, I think a bit of work there, but credit to Sale as well. They managed to get to us in, in that regard. But, yeah. You know, I think especially on this level, um, analyzing and plans and sticking to it and adapting, it doesn't just happen. So I think that was amazing, obviously, identifying that and it changed the momentum of the game because you guys were just down and then suddenly they were like, whoa, these yeah. guys are going up. So so yeah, I think, I don't know from your perspective, maybe double, but that, that, that played a massive role. Well, the steals we got in the end were, were very important to us. Yeah. But that, that was, it did help us. Momentum. We were losing, um, we got to a stage where we started to lose the contestable battles, so they started to get some territory, mm. uh, which, um, which made, the, uh, made those last deals very important, yeah. Sorry, just, I was just on the breakdowns, specifically with, yeah. with Greg Ford, that seems to be quite an issue, a lot of shoulder game as well, Andre. just Could protecting of, of the board, just, you know, the, just the presentation as well, no, because no. it's a of depth that came as well, taking that look, it's, 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 it's the area I coach, and I thought it was one of the, one of the yeah, you're right, it's very similar to Rochelle. Tom Curry, look, I think there's an element which is frustrating about the amount of coaching off the ball and then the damage is done, you know, in those two or three seconds. But that we didn't carry it clean as well as we probably could have, that's unquestionable. And I think that puts, yeah, we're a team that if we really want to attack, we need fast ball. And that wasn't the case today. How much is mm -hmm. their skill, how much is referee being um, yeah. very French, uh, or how much is uh, our, so I think largely, mostly our fault for not. Uh, I think it's something that we, must, we, we have to get better at in terms of coaching. They didn't do the referee or, or yeah. the opposition, we just got to be better because we can't play our rugby or four, five second board. So, but just in terms of 22 meter entries, um, I think there was a couple. Uh, uh, obviously, the percentage wasn't high. Just, just your take maybe from both of you guys. Wait for Nathan to give me the stats. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just under 50%. Okay, no, it, it, yeah, it, it's frustration for us at the moment. Um, not finishing tries. I think what delighted me the most about today was we started to see the stormers of what the last two years in terms of how we played and how we looked for space from the ball in hand. But you remember being you're right, the general attack was frustrated by the breakdown. It must be frustrating with you on as well. I mean, the last two seasons you've been poaching a lot with the breakdowns. It's sort of been told with it now a lot. Um, yeah, it's getting difficult. Um, I think uh, the game is involved. Uh, Evolving. Uh, I think the guys are getting better and everyone is, is, is looking for quick ball so they're putting more numbers in there to, to get the quick ball so the opportunities are fewer um, for the team but yeah, still trying to but yeah, quality players like Curry and, and Dickie and all those, all those acts are, are international players. Yeah. Yeah, well just the scrums, you must be very happy with the scrums, I mean, that, that's sort of a big positive where you guys have grown a lot in a year, yeah. whether, you, whether the guy comes on or he starts. It's yeah. always up in the scrums. Yeah, I think it's a big, it's a, it's just become such a good part of our culture now. You're taking France, Kitsi, you know, Joe didn't start today, Scarrett didn't start today. And uh, we're still getting dominance, I mean, including La Rochelle. So, yeah, we're one of the best scrumming units around and it's really positive. And uh, we've got quite a bit of depth there still. You know, Sazi's going to come back, uh, France is going to come back, uh, Lisa's coming back. Yeah, Scarrett and Joe, as I said, didn't start JJ. So, and I, I, you could start. Lisa, JJ, and Sazi. And I think we'd see the same picture, which is brilliant. Very happy with that, John. Yeah. Well, I just mentioned this, you know, this bit of disaster back for, yeah. uh, from you saw that uh, from the past few seasons. Um, just from that, that, try, that second try of, of justice, you know, that inch back or that try, that was amazing. Yeah, that, that was, that does, that reminded me of the, yeah. of those glory days. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> oh, we've missed a little bit of that this, this season, but, very tricky because a team that slows you down like that to um, be playing just a contestable kicking game. Mm. I mean, they didn't, that game where they, I, I, I admire their fight. You know, we did a similar thing at Welford Road, so please, that's not a judgmental, but they didn't want that game to be an open up game. Every kick, every kick was, every kick was uh, contestable. You know, it was, a, it was a difficult game for us to open up. But so for us to see signs of that, um, yeah, it, it was, it was, it was it's important to, so we're on attack, um, and then I'm going to get to Nathan, I know he's so excited there. Um, attacking from nine, 
was that the plan? Was it maybe just that you guys saw the shooting out or what was there? Because there was a lot of opportunities, especially a bit wider. Yeah, look, I think the kid, the, uh, that's what I think I've got, got, I, I got to get, get right, is that sort of the shape of line. And those, it was those breakdowns that were killing us, not so much the wider ones. Mm. So they had massive line speed, they rushed the guy, but we didn't look like we had options. Mm. So they could go all onto the, onto the, onto the ball carrier. And uh, yeah, that's something we have to work on. You know, and even when we did pull, did the pull out the back, mm -hmm. they were those even those weren't effective because they, they they came with a massive rush onto us. So we'll learn we'll learn from that. Um, Dog, was so, there something that's creeping up um, from from last season? Is the last ten minutes? Um, do you think it's a concern? No, I tell you, I, I don't feel that. Look, I, what, if what does worry me is that there's it's a couple of games now. I don't know, I'll probably get my facts wrong. It's certainly not Larry Shaw, but maybe Sharks, maybe Bulls. We had opportunities to go two two plus scores ahead uh, to finish the game. So it was the case today, on three or four occasions, yeah. and that didn't happen. But then when we get to see, sit in the coach's box, you think, cheapers, if we just we, this game would be over, and we wouldn't have, have to go through the agony that Duncan and I go through. But then, but then um, when it gets to 73, 74 minutes, it actually looks almost imperious. You know what I mean? Like that we are not in the way we close out those games in the last four or five minutes. The Sharks. This game, I thought, was very good. You know, it's a, the fact that we're not burying teams. Um, uh, Credit to South Five, but the fact, the fact that we're not burying teams when we, we, when we got them on the ropes is a bit frustrating. You know. And Dobbo, um, before you got to Alex, uh, coach yourself, um, I don't know if you know, but you briefly ventured outside. Three number of Kingston players have travelled, had diarrhoea. I don't know if you're aware of this, but apparently Alex said that it was due to the ice. Yeah, it was your eyes bother you, huh? she shouldn't drink the ice. Actually. <laughs> 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 I don't know what their protocol is, but uh, yeah. What do you drink? Uh, what do you drink ice in? What do you yeah, drink yeah. with ice? Yeah. So, so, it's, not, it's not anything like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin's got a question. So our goal was to try and get five north today. And that's probably why the mood is a little bit irritable. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's where Marnie kick fell just short. Yeah. We could have broken them at one stage. Listen, but if the message go, this is secure the win. But we wanted five north. And, uh, and just to make, I think if we got five north, if you look at now, we're probably through. Yeah. I think the odds are still very much in our favour. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was important. That's why, that's why I'm, as I said, Pamela's going to be a bit of a lecture in the change room about not being cheerful. But uh, we did set out a 5 not uh, 5 one we're, not, we're going to do a good job in Paris next week. And uh, we get out of this group of death, I think, a three great achievement by the Stormers. So maybe I'm copying a little, being a little bit churlish. Yeah, just on that point, Pablo, uh, next week you play Stade de France in Paris. Do you go with the B side now or do you go with your full strength side? Because you sort of want to pull the beat them as well? That's no, the one thing, we, or do you go with the B side? No, no, we, we go. So the, 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 the La Rochelle play, um, La Rochelle play uh, less tomorrow. And then and, uh, we'll go with our full, full team. We've also got a break. Are you at 7 in hand? 7 in Feb. So no, we'll go with the, the full side. Take Brunners to the Louvre. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, he knows a little boutique. <laughs> Coach, you had to reshuffle your backline a little bit. How did you feel the backline went, especially with your, your centre combination? Um, I tell you, I, I felt that. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, probably, uh, probably why we made the change that we were the contestable things weren't going our way that, uh, um, according to plan, and so we sort of felt that we needed to get Warwick on the get Warwick on move Suleiman is not really you know, still new and uh, centre back into where he's familiar and Dan was so and then Cordinelli got caught once or twice with those little flat kicks of theirs so it was a tactical change maybe, maybe around that um, look as regards our centre combination I think so Lehman's a future star at 13, but uh, yeah, we, we're going to have to look at that. Next week, Ben Loder's back, mm -hmm. so maybe that gives us Ben and um, uh, Zassi on the wings, and that maybe means we can leave Suleiman in there for another bit. But I just felt that, I don't know what you guys thought, but up until we made that change, you know, a lot of all those scraps we were yeah. losing and that so it wasn't going well. I would just, uh, one guy we didn't speak about tonight, Achiva Dayaman, oh. uh, man of the match performance, I mean, he could have jogged there in the corner, he decided to pop the ball back, stepping guys. Just just in terms of perspective, 
I mean, he's been labeled as a, as a breakthrough, breakthrough, yeah. breakthrough, not breaking through anywhere. And he's like, he's sick and tired of that. And I think he's, he's, he's putting in the performances. So just uh, on your perspective, and then Brana's playing with a guy like that, you never know what to expect. It's getting my GPS meters up. <laughs> <laughs> like breaking, breaking lights. Yeah, and he's a quality player, he's a quality human being. Um, yeah, it's quality. he's been showing it for the last years since I've been coming in. He's just that X factor, you think nothing's going to happen and then he just breaks through. So, yeah, if he keeps on doing it, yeah, I definitely think he'll be higher on for him. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's keeping up those performances week in week out and he's been doing it for two weeks now, so I think he's on the right track now. Dion, um, well, maybe you can try on as well, but um, was it a bit niggly from Phil? I know you got involved early on, <laughs> Marnie was taken on. Taken out um, several times, virtual. Um, do you feel they sort of dragged you down to to there as well, and maybe you responded a bit too much to that? Yeah, maybe I was not guilty of that, but got punched as well. So, but uh, <laughs> no, it felt like the semi final again. Um, it's just how the English jokes are. They're, they're chirpy and get under your skin. Uh, I told the guys of the first five minutes, um, don't let it get under your skin because it's really irritating some stages but yeah that's that's the way they play and uh, yeah something to learn from I don't think anyone you're not used to playing the English side so you're not used to all those chirps and all those banters and stuff so yeah we've learned we've learned from this today and um, yeah moving forward we'll, yeah. you're from your left to the that's always the bottom on Monday so <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, it was weird the ball was slippery I <laughs> 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 just an update on um, well, two weeks ago we spoke about Riyad Nal and he on the radio and wanted to show us a PCL or SEL. We've got to ask him a week just what is the extent of his injury and how long is he out for? As far as I it's ACL, which is, when I see it break world records, but <laughs> it, it's uh, nine months, I think. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, so he's out for the season. Back a year. I was positive. If anybody's going to break, you know, kind of exceed, uh, break, you know, beat that, it'll be, it'll be Ruan, given his professionalism and his rehab. But uh, he's gone for the season, that's for sure. And they just even it's on Monday, will they have to sell Yeah, we're actually getting some nice guys. Uh, no, they won't make this week, but uh, they should make the 17th. There's Lizu, uh, Evan, Saman, might be something I'm missing. France, France. France, 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 France. 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 Sasha, correct, yeah. Cool, guys, any other questions? Are we, are we good? Lizu? Happy, nice one. Thank you very much. Don't use the eyes of Kevin.